SalamikeDraceP.co. All your looks, apparel, needs are available. Now I'm answering all y'all's questions. We're gonna talk about what's the dick, the final factor why I take steroids, how to get fucking big, dig in, let's dive. How to getting GF. First of all, learn proper grammar. Cause girls don't like men who don't know proper grammar. The real first question. I'm small, I can't get big, and I can't get my appetite up. How do we get big? You force feed yourself. You drink your calories, increasing your calories by drinking it instead of eating. You start to eat earlier in the day, so you get more calories in. Yeah, more meals. You prepare, so you have to bring snacks. Um, so you're eating out, you're eating throughout the day. Um, like the opposite of that, I need to get out of the house so I don't snack, so yeah. I don't overeat. Yeah. You need to bring snacks with you so that you eat like two, 300, 400 calories every few, like two hours. Yeah, I think it's so popular to talk about tracking when you're dieting, but for those that have issues gaining, tracking is just as important. Yes. So hit your calorie goals, Absolutely. and then I would say the same thing. Snacking more helps, more calorie dense food. So if you're used to eating chicken breast, go chicken thigh or fatty or beef. It's, it's literally just the exact opposite of cutting. If you're cutting, you wanna look for like 90 or 95% lean ground beef. If you're bulking, why not go to like 85 or 80% Beef, it's way fattier, way more calories. Yep. Adding oils, avocados. Add avocado into yeah, your Yeah, butter. Yeah. Uh, obviously, still try to get your veggies in and don't eat like an idiot, but like eating fast food more often, like Chipotle and stuff like that, where you can add a bunch of guac and get a bunch of cheese and a bunch of sour cream yeah. with your protein. And then liquid cows, like you said, so easy. Super easy. Instead of doing like a water protein shake, now you can fucking go banana, full milk, a scoop yeah. of ice cream and a protein. Like, Literally, we're just like, that's all the things we avoid doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> it's kind of easier. Yeah, instead of going to Starbucks and getting a black coffee, now I'll get like some crazy Frappuccino deal. Like a latte. Yeah, there's kind of no reason not. And, and it's the same as like talking to a really big person or someone who's obese their whole life on how to diet. Like, yeah, it's fucking hard. Add carbs into it. Yeah, you're not used to doing it. It's going to be hard. Yeah. Duh. Yeah. But like, if you really want it. It's not prepare. losing weight that's just hard. It's also gaining weight. Yeah, it's all hard. Whatever you're not currently doing is fucking hard. Yeah. To run a mile every day for me would be very hard. And it's going to take more than you think. Probably. And longer yeah. than you think. Yeah. What dictated, or I'll switch it, dictates if you'd use steroids or not? For those that don't know, I am a natural human being. Organic, non-GMO human. Me, myself, why well, I don't really ever made the decision to try any kind of PED or steroid. Um, it's simply I know I've been pretty self-aware my whole life and I know it probably won't make me any happier or more fulfilled in my life. Um, I've always said if, if it's life-changing, if I can take care of my mom and the people around me a little bit easier, right, if it gives me a, a, a job as Wolverine in fucking Marvel, and I have to put on 20 pounds of lean muscle, I'd probably do it, right? That's a $20 million check, and you take care of a lot of people with that. But as of right now, although it may accelerate uh, my success in social media, YouTube, Instagram, um, being more jacked, showing more skin, posing like everybody does, it's not who I am. And once you start to live a life, not to get all life coachy on you, but if you start to live in a way that doesn't align with who you actually are, what you believe in, and your morals, you'll have less fulfillment, you'll feel shittier. Um, my entire life routine is built around not feeling shitty. Uh, we all have negative minds, we all have negative lives, we all have issues, and I try to work as hard as I can to not feel shitty, mentally or physically. So, taking a bunch of steroids, getting jacked for no reason, preaching a bunch of things, I'm not a competitor, there's kind of just no instance besides that life changing um, where I could find that it would actually make me a happier, more fulfilled human being. I'm allergic to freaking everything. How do I get a better nutritional diet going for weight loss and healthier lifestyle? Allergies are weird. I didn't really like grow up with any. My mom like always said she's allergic to cats. Like I don't think I've, I'm super allergic to anything. And I've, I've also never eaten cats. <laughs> Why, how are you allergic to everything? Like I don't get, I don't get I, I don't know either. But like one, have you done like a allergic test? So I'd go to your doctor. And then two, don't eat the things you're allergic to and still eat less calories. Like the boundaries of losing weight still always apply. Three, if you have the financial capabilities, is I would grab a real dietitian. 
A real dietitian is actually, that's more what they're made for. A lot of people can teach you how to lose weight and build muscle, um, but when things get complicated with celiac disease and all these other issues, is I would dive into a real nutritionist, invest in yourself, and then you can probably learn um, better things there. Because I do understand, like some people can't eat dairy. Yeah. With all these limitations, you want to get rid of all that gas and check work, because that'll just take forever. Isn't that funny how allergies work? Like, some people eat a peanut and literally die, and then it's still an allergy, but some people have ice cream and they just shit themselves or fart a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but both are an allergy. Yeah, <laughs> like, we yeah, categorize yeah. them as themselves. One's literally you fucking dying. Or like, so a lot of people are allergic to different fruits, right? Like, like citrus fruits, or some people just can't have, or like, yeah, yeah. gluten. Some people are so allergic to gluten, they just die. Or then like other people eat ice cream and they fart a little bit and they're like, I'm allergic. Natural selection. Can't get my side delts to pop like yours. Any recommendations? Get better genetics. Dang. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Houston insulted their mama. No. Sorry, mom, you got great delts. <laughs> Honestly, two things. One, don't be fooled. The picture I posted, I had a pump um, and I'm posing. I'm not even good at posing. They're not even that big. No, they're really not. Most. Fitzbo's bodybuilders you follow are taking exogenous hormones, PEDs, juice, gear, yeah, steroids. In in males and females, we have receptors that accept those steroids, and a lot of them sit for a majority of people genetically in your shoulders and your traps. So people talk about, oh well, you can't take steroids like they're not just going to do the work. Studies actually show the opposite. Uh, steroids, most of them, were invented to do the work and can build muscle on their own. They, they are made for people that can't move in the hospital to retain, and maintain, and grow muscle while they're Never unable to move, yeah. right? So yes, they can. Uh, do they do all the work to build a physique like Ronnie Coleman or Sebum? No. Anyone with popping 3D delts, they're either insanely lean, posing, or on shit. That being said- Or we, great genetics. Great genetics are a thing. They are a thing. Uh, beyond that, we can build our delts. Mm -hmm. A lot of pressing movements are really gonna focus on your Front delt, your anterior delt, which helps build it. You want all three heads. Um, but what are some of your favorite shoulder movements in general? Lateral raises. Lateral raises. I really like lateral raises. Egyptian lateral raises. You lean over and you're doing one side at a time. Yep. That one's nice. Um, yeah, you're basically or leaning over to get uh, gravity to be on your side. Right? Or against you. Right. Yeah. On your side to build harder. muscle. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which it doesn't assist you. It makes no. it harder through the full range. Because a lot of times when you're just lateral raising, all this space is kind of useless if you're using free weights. You so free you weights. lean with the dumbbell. Um, or you do cable. You use a cable and just kind of set it around knee height or hip height so you get kind of a 90 degree with your arm in the cable and that'll cause more resistance through the full range. And just make sure you're doing enough like volume and like, yeah. pushing them. It's just like anything else, right? Train yeah. it two to three times a week, get it close to failure. 12 to 15 yeah. reps. Yeah. Same thing. Those are my two favorite movements, plus an upright row. I know that hurts a lot of people's shoulders. So if it's uncomfy, don't do it. But if, you, if it's comfy, fucking bang them out. The other thing you can do is uh, dumbbells, uh, upright row, which will end up being kind of like a drag lateral raise anyways. Yeah. So it'll free up your shoulders sometimes if you have pain, uh, but still good. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, as I told you, at least I talk about it on Instagram, um, I'm sick of the algorithm. I think it's forming uh, a hive mind and killing creativity. So we're just gonna do what we do here. We train, we hang out, unfiltered, raw, hopefully help you and entertain you along the way. Coach Abby in the house, where can they find you on Instagram? Abby.lu. Abby.lu, hit her up in the DMs if you guys, not for creepy shit, I'm watching. But if you guys <laughs> want some coaching, yeah, I'll be answering them actually, little freakos. But if you guys want some coaching, advice, let her know she's taking clients online. Um, Abby at 3sb.co, if you guys wanna get a hold of her if you're more serious about coaching, 3sb.co. Goodcompanyapparel.com if you guys want to get involved with the apparel. The finest luxe training quality you got. I'm Solomon Mike. New videos weekly, man. Appreciate you guys so much. Happy holidays. Catch you in the next one.